I'm still haunted by the memories of how I came to be incarcerated in that amniotic Attica. As I recall, it was every potential man for himself. To reach the target objective, thanks to the peerless intrepidity I developed at Testicular Boot Camp. But it was a trap! I was imprisoned in that uterine gulag for nine grueling months. Day 171, I've sprouted another finger. Counting the one from yesterday, I'm up to 11. Light at the end of the tunnel. I rushed to freedom, but suddenly I was ambushed by a mysterious man in white. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Back off! Don't come any closer or I'll cut her. I'll, I'll, give, her a, I'll give her a series of splinters that, that could, um, you know, become infected. Victory is mine! Oh! Hello? Is anybody home? Uh -huh. You're getting warmer. Where are you? What do you want? What the hell is this? It's a boy! Very well then, if I can't stop them from the outside, I'll stop them from the inside. Engine status? Nominal. Fuel supply? Four. If I'm going to reach the testicles and destroy the sperm before coitus, I must buy some time. Computer location? Fifteen millimeters northeast of the duodenum. Very well. Fire phases! Entering testicular perimeter. Well, well. Do you know what today is? A bad day to be a sperm. Well, it seems you're out of ammunition. As are you, Stuart. You came unarmed? As we agreed. Admirable. <laughs> <laughs> Got you in the sleeper hold, as I you. Ugh. Your attempts to escape her. <laughs> Futile. Ah! <laughs> Stewie, you're alive. Yes, Bertram, I'm alive. On guard. Last word. I say, I think this is how you change a tire, but what do I know? I'm just a baby!